Honeyflower, and today I'm going to be building my second story part of the house. I don't even know if this counts as the second story. I've got a lot of stories. <laughs> this will be the top one out of four, and today we're finishing it. I might, I don't think I'll add a third one, to be honest. I'm sorry, but um, let me just get my, my markings ready. I'm going to have like a front porch area and it's going to be lots of fun. I need to get a whole bunch of oak, like a lot of oak. I'm real low on the oak department. <laughs> oh, so close. <laughs> probably not, probably not that close, but I'll go get my oak. Oak, use the oak. Weren't you just in the water, bud? Oh, you took a break, relaxed, and I did a few things off camera. I organized my chests out and got everything clean and pretty. And my dogs are barking, <laughs> but um, clean and pretty, and it's a lot more organized, and I'm so happy about that and it's in the chest room so it's not just randomly inside of my middle basement area which I'm probably going to use that as my kitchen to be honest my kitchen and dining space and there's my mom yelling at the dogs <laughs> you know what honestly I'm gonna be right back Hi, I'm back, but um, I need to get a whole bunch of oak. So, 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 so much oak. So much, so, so much oak. <laughs> I'm being annoying. Today at cheer practice was pretty darn nice. I got to stunt. I love flying. I love being in the air and feeling the air, even though not everybody was pleasant and nice today. I tried my hardest not to let it be negative or affect me bad because I get everybody has a bad day it just so happens that some people have bad days every single day <laughs> I'm not getting into that though um, I'm tired I've had a, a day I <laughs> couldn't sleep last night and there's nothing like to make you feel more bad about yourself than when you wake, like, you're still awake and the sun is rising. That's the number one way for me to feel like a big old pile of garbage, to have the sun come up before I even fell asleep. Makes me feel like the biggest dumby I know. Look at all this wood. That's some beautiful wood. I just want to make sure I got enough. I'm always scared of... Not scared. I just hate having to go running looking for wood. All this stinking time. And I know I'm going to have to anyways. So I might as well grab some birch and some spruce for my roof. And then I'm going to do... A cute little porch on my second floor because the top floor is going to be my bedroom floor. It's all just going to be for my slumber. It's going to be lots of fun. And then after my house is finished on the outside, I'll work on the inside. And then after the inside is finished, I'll go mining a bit. Which I'm really scared because I think I'm going to do it not on peaceful. And I'm used to being on peaceful whenever I'm in a cave or and you are scary, I just automatically go into peaceful mode. This is going to be a bit of a change for me. I'm going to try, though, for you guys. Because I know it's a lot less entertaining to see everything going right. I know. I wish it was, you guys, because I hate 
Monsters, they're spooky. Wow, that's a lot of oak. 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 Oh my gosh. I sound like a Canadian. And a boy just commented on my picture and said I was pretty. And that boy is not my boyfriend. So, stop it. Okay. I don't know you like that, bro. Mm-hmm. How are you? I've been really stressed these past few days. Uh, last night, I literally couldn't sleep just because of a comic series that I'm reading. Like, this is the main reason. Every time I try to go to sleep, I feel like a deep pit of sadness in my stomach because my ship didn't sail. Because usually when I read, like, Harem or any kind of that series, like, right now I'm reading Siren's Lament, which is so good. And I was just reading My Dear Cold-Blooded Prince. And, um, the person who I wanted to be with the girl didn't end up... He ended up falling in love with somebody else. I'm not going to go into it in case if anybody gets interested in watching it. But that sucked. And, um, usually I'm very moderate when it comes to my shipping. And I don't really care... As long as I like both the characters. Like in Siren's Lament, I don't care if the main character ends up with Sean or Ian. Either way, I love them both. I think they're both great characters. And they both could very well provide for Lyra, the main girl, and treat her right. But, like, inside of this one, the two character options are either, like, this cold, cruel prince or some pervy lieutenant dude and I have an opinion I'm not gonna say it you might guess I guess I don't know but the person who I wanted her to end up being with ended up like not wanting to be with her because she wasn't acting girly and weak enough for him and it's just like please I don't care that you said something kind of mean right then and there. <gasps> Please, my ship. I'm so sad. A part of me hopes that the other girl will die. But even if so, main character already said, I don't love you. Well, I only loved her because the way that she made me feel was so similar to how you made me feel or something like that. But <clears throat> her. I hate her. And I'm mad at the author. Very mad. Heck. And I know I'm rambling about something nobody cares about. And like, look, I would be sorry, but I'm not sorry. That was weird. I just got stuck. Bloop. I like a lot of windows in my houses. And I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. I like windows, okay? There we go. Oh, so pretty. Okay. Do, 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 do. Almost done. Please tell me I'll have enough. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I'm going to have two extra, too. Awesome. And I think I'm ready to move my beds up to the top floor, the bedroom. And I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably going to have them in the same place that I had them on the top floor. I like it, okay? And I'll sleep looking at the stars. The stars. <laughs> Okay, I'll need a door. And... I don't know what I was trying to do there. I'm gonna need a door. And the crafting tables are all down here. I'll show you my chest room. Voila, chests. I got my sand, sand... Spooky noises? Who do you think you are? Um, sand, sandstone, cobblestone, and gravel. Because there's so many of them, they took up their whole chest. Building materials... Might be a little bit barren, not gonna lie. And then I got my tools. Gardening and or nature, because I 
wanted Kelp to have, like, a spot, you know? Um, miscellaneous blocks. I know it's miscellaneous. I say misc because it's fun. Um, just miscellaneous items. And my goodies. And yes, I count bones as, like, a treasure because dogs! I wanted to make a door, but I forgot. Perfect. I only need one. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. <laughs> run, run, run. Cruising for some bruising. All right. Okay. I went to the drive-in. What did I see? A hundred little baddies all staring at me. They were cruising for some loving. We sang that in choir, in my show choir, because we did a dancing and singing choir. We were just special like that. I can have two doors. Thank you. But that means I only got one. Oh, well, now I'm going to sneeze. Hey. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of a cold, probably because I slept awful last night. That's my fault, though, so it's okay. Run, run, we're gonna run, run. I'm gonna sneeze again, aren't I? Any second now. I'm just gonna shush, 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 and hope that I don't, because sneezing is, like, a lot of work. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay. So now I need to. Oh, I need to make a roof. Why don't I do that? What a crazy idea, am I right? I don't really need these anymore. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 Undertale. What's your favorite Undertale song? I used to have a huge crush on this boy, and we I liked Undertale a lot, and I still like Undertale a lot. But I liked it a lot more at that moment, because I was, like, freshly new to the Undertale-ness. And he also liked Undertale. And my favorite song was always been um, his theme. Do, 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 do. But, um, the boy that I had this huge crush on was like, my favorite song from Megalovania. I'm like, my favorite song from Megalovania. As, like, as a lie to get him to like me more. 13 year old Haley was in a really rough place. I did some terrible things, said some mean things to people. I really regret what everything that 13 year old Haley did. She was not a happy person. But, um, I can't fix that now. It's too late. Like the other day, I was trying to find somebody on, um, Messenger. And so I tried searching up her name. But it just showed me talking about her in conversations. And I said some really mean things about her. And it's not, like, really mean as in, like, I hate her teeth. I think she should eat rocks. But it was like, I don't like her. She's a B-word, and I feel really bad. And I even tried to delete those messages so I wouldn't have to see them again, because I don't talk to the person who I said those things to anymore. What's making noise around me? Something near me is making a lot of noise. Is there, like, a llama? But whatever you are, shut up. Weird. I just, I feel bad. That's not who I am. I shouldn't have said those things. Especially now that I got to know that girl. She's so nice. And.
and I had just judged her unnecessarily. And I feel bad. I wish I could just punch 13 year old me in the face and be like, stop it. People like you. Be nice back to them. You angsty teenager. Because that's exactly what I was. I was just full of angst and rage and hormones and I loved cats a lot. I don't know. I still love cats a lot, to be honest. I love cats. And I was super obsessed with space. I did something today that I haven't done in a long time. Oh my god, that noise this whole time has just been sand, uh, snow-covered blocks disappearing. <sighs> but, um, I might insert uh, a picture, like, right... Right, um, right, right, right here, right here. I'll, I'll insert a picture right here of the makeup that I have done right now. Um, it's a style that I came up with when I was a youth. I, like, 13, 14, 15-ish. But, um, I call them space freckles. And it's basically, like, instead of fake freckles, um, okay, shut up, zombie! Mm -hmm. Scaring me! <laughs> but, um, instead of just normal fake freckles, I draw, like, stars all over my face, and then do, like, a planet, or two, and a bigger star, and a moon. Because <laughs> I thought it was really cute. I was obsessed with space for the longest time. And now... I tried it again, and I'm really happy. I forgot how pretty it makes me feel to do spacey bun. Not buns, spacey freckles. Space buns are the twin buns, but I call them space buns, because, I don't know, that's what I did. <laughs> Please, thank you. Oh, no, thank you. Da 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 Because I put it in the wrong spot. I see what I did there. Ah, I messed up again. Y'all know any Sims songs? I do. Hobble, borb, na, hobble, borb, na, boo. That's the happy birthday song. Honestly, nobody's as cool as I am. So, what, what traits do you have to bring to this table for this job interview? I can sing in Simlish. And then everybody's going to be like, oh, wow. What language is that? I'm like, from a place called Sims. Sims. <laughs> and they were like, please, sing your foreign song. And I'll be like, hobble borb. Not hobble borb. Naboo. And they were like, oh, magnificent. <laughs> and then I also know how to say baby, which is nubu. We all know it's nubu. If you've ever played The Sims. You know it's Nubu. Because that's what they say whenever they pick up a baby. Ah, Nubu. Like, yes, I see you have a Nubu right there. Interesting. Yeah, um, I, I'm Snape. I, so every teenager has, like, a voice for their mom. You know, like. It's gonna keep making spooky noises. I don't even care at this point. But, um. Like, a voice you make to imitate your mom when she makes you mad. Except for me. I don't have a voice for my mom. <laughs> like, Jake. Jake is my boyfriend. His voice for his mom is like... Jason, you like this, 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 or something really raspy. 
And um, I don't really have one. And I keep trying to, like, find voices that fit the bill of mom. But, um, I haven't found anything worthy. Honestly. I don't know if it's a compliment or not. But I really haven't. So, I, I, you're probably wondering why I just made three crafting tables. I gotta put them down here. But, um, I keep, like, switching between voices that I'm trying to give my mom. And, uh, one of them, uh, was literally S Severus Snape's voice. And then I've done, like, a country voice for my mom without thinking about it. I'm not good at this. This whole impersonating a mother thing. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I, I didn't, uh-oh. I also need to go down here so I can make some fences. I had sticks? Okay, well I'm gonna make a whole bunch of sticks right now. Huh? There we go. Forgot how to do that for a second. That should probably be way more than good. Haley, what were you thinking? I literally just wasted all of my spoons <laughs> on that. Okay. Cute. Okay. I need one more. Birch Coon. I just want one. One pack. Can I order one pack of three single pieces of a fence? <laughs> if Minecraft was real. But yeah, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm sorry if it was a little bit more calm and quiet and chill than my most recent videos. But I felt like kind of zen today. A little bit of a zen mood. Let me... Oh gosh, I always mix up. There we go. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Thanks.